All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the gas pressure, just make sure it's firing, you know, as close to the manufacturer's space as we can. Uh, we're just going to use a digital manometer. This is going to measure in inches of water column. Uh, so you want to make sure you're on the right setting, which we are. So luckily, this one is just magnetic. And we'll find the outlet side of our gas valve right here. There's a little port over here on the side. You just use an Allen wrench. Unscrew that. I like to have mine on my service wrench. And make sure you put that somewhere where you won't drop it and lose it. Take the end of your manometer hose, screw it right in there. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you want it tight enough to where it's not going to leak. This is a real low pressure. It's less than, you know, it's, it's approximately a quarter pound of pressure coming out of this side. Do that. Or make sure you zero out your scale. Zero it out, so now I'm gonna hook this hose back up. Get it all fired up and test the gas pressure. As you see, it's firing pretty high. You don't want it to be fire over firing. That actually can cause some issues uh, with the furnace and the system heating up uh, too fast. So what we're gonna do right here is your, your adjustment screws under this cap. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Typically, they're going to be three and a half inches water column on natural gas. LP gas is going to be about ten and a half inches water column. And that's on a single fire system. The only proper proper way to really do it is to do what's called a combustion analysis, which takes a you have a machine that reads the exhaust gas and uh, things like that, and it tells you you know what all your your system is made up, the exhaust gas is made up of. That's the best way to really set your gas pressure but it's not always feasible to do either so you want to make sure your system's not running before you disconnect this because uh, otherwise you'll be spitting out raw gas right into your flame disconnect your hose Install your plug. And reconnect the hose here. Things good there. Visually inspecting the hot surface igniter, making sure it doesn't have any you know big pit spots burning into it or anything like that. Everything there looks good. Um, other than that, pretty much you're going to check you know electrical connections, make sure they're tight, nothing's loose. Don't see any rust on any of them. Uh, 
No wires look like they're rubbing out. Everything there looks pretty good.